Tavala Beach we go live webcam there and you can find this webcam at warwickksby.com and get the surf forecast and you can see a breeze up right now in Avila Beach and the breeze helps clear out the skies. So it's kind of a trade off though Avila Beach one of the nicer spots today. Look at this 24 hour temperature change. Paso Robles jumped a big way today. Elsewhere not a lot of change. OK, current conditions. Santa Maria 65 and 65 in San Luis and 86 in Paso Robles, 64 in Lompoc and 70 in Santa Barbara. The winds currently, yeah, they're up 15 to 20 miles per hour out of the northwest. In Santa Barbara in the city, we've got southeast winds. However, over parts of the county, the winds will be up later on tonight. A new advisory has just gone into place. 78 Santa Barbara today, 93 Santa Inez, 90 at Tascadero, Cambria, 66, 73 in Solvang today. Paso Robles up to 91, 65 Pismo, 74 in San Luis, 71 Santa Maria, 68 in Lompoc. The modeling is showing this. Once the winds calm down a little bit later on tonight for the central coast, we'll see patchy marine layer reformation. However, I like it to clear really quickly again, so it's going to be a pretty sunny day on Friday, though we will see more of this northwest wind at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Now, as we get into the weekend, the winds calm down. Guess what comes back? The marine cloud cover, you can see it expanding on Saturday into Sunday. So even though we may not start the day Saturday with a lot of clouds, we'll see more of them over the course of the weekend with partial afternoon clearing. Pretty common late June, early July forecast. Satellite radar just showing us that cloud picture and this new advisory just kicking into place at 6 o'clock through 3 a.m. And it's for winds northwest 20 to 30 gusting to 45 miles per hour passes and canyons of Santa Barbara County and the ridge tops as well. Here's the July 4th setup. Big wavy jet stream high out here. Areas of low pressure in the Pacific Northwest. What does it mean? Upper level flow out of the Southwest. A mild flow for us. Seasonal temps, partly cloudy skies, beaches in the 60s, coastal valleys, 70s and inland valleys. Not particularly hot, just upper 80s. So that's common daytime highs. But the light winds show modeling a lot of opportunities here for low cloud reformation in the nighttime hours for coastal fireworks. Inland, I think it's going to be mostly clear, but at the coast, again, we're going to be dancing with a marine layer. This storm is not formed yet, but models like a fairly strong hurricane to form off the Mexican coastline. Some of this cloud cover could get pulled up from southwest winds. That's a lot of analysis about a day in the middle of next week. But the week after the 4th, I'm, I'm all in. Let's just keep going forward. The week after the 4th could be really hot across the west. A potential heat wave and not only that, you see the here, this return flow under the ridge could mean monsoonal thunderstorms in California and the Four Corners region, so it could be hot and muggy. And at some point, everybody else is going to start talking about this too, but I just wanted to get that out there first. <laughs> Why not? Here's the forecast. Tomorrow, pretty mild day. 93 Paso, 73 in Santa Barbara. 72 Santa Maria, 76 in San Luis. Santanez Valley temperatures, 81 Santanez Solving, 88 Cuyama, 73 Carpinteria. Five cities, 69 Pismo, 70 Napomo, 62 Los Osos, 61 Morro Bay, 68 for Cayuca, 73 Avila, 92 in San Miguel. And your extended forecast looks really steady across Santa Barbara County. This is money in the bank forecast here. And you know, honestly, so much analysis of whether or not there'll be some clouds for 4th of July celebrations at Pismo Beach. Anybody who's gone knows there's always a chance you're going to be fighting it. I'd say the broad brush of that whole thing or the larger message is going to be a nice 4th. It's going to be mild, maybe a couple of clouds here and there, lighter winds. That's not bad.